I'm Michael Shipp from Henry, Illinois. I currently reside in Mayville, Wisconsin. I fight for Third Heavens Martial Arts in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Luke Rodriguez from Davenport, Iowa. Trained at Big Five, strength and conditioning, and uh, getting some work in down at Summit. Luke Rodriguez, back when I watched him in amateur, as he seemed more aggressive back then than he is now. He picks his shots a lot more this time, and he li likes fights the outside a lot. I don't think he's ever been really hit. He's never been tested. You know, he's never fought a good striker like me that's going to hit him on the butt and keep hitting him beat him to the wrestling match, beat him everywhere. Luke, if you think you're gonna walk right through me, buddy, you got another thing coming. I promise you right now, you've never fought somebody as tough as me. I'm coming for that knockout. You know, he's just someone in the way now. I, he wasn't even on my radar until he said my name, and then just like that, we can make it happen. I'm gonna put these hands and feet on him. I'm gonna make him hurt. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Cage Aggression 24, night two continues, and making his way to the Cage Aggression Octagon is Michael Battleship, six feet, 155 pounds, fighting out of Mayville, Wisconsin, third heaven martial arts. No stranger to the Cage Aggression Octagon. That's, that's one thing you say about a lot of these pros, man. It's, it's pretty cool to watch these guys go from amateurs to pros over the, you know, Oh man, wow. Yeah, probably seven years I've been doing this now. But yeah, it, it's really cool to see the evolution of a lot of these guys. And, you know, we were talking about uh, Mike before. And sometimes you sit back at the end of his fights like, man, how did this guy win? But his, I, I got I to gotta credit it to his heart, man. Yep, he's, he's gritty. He is. He, he will do whatever it takes. We, we've seen him come back from a major injury um, and be better than ever. So. How can you not expect him to continue that? that, that? Yeah, and uh, this may be an unpopular opinion, but uh, Led Zeppelin sucks. <laughs> I said it. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. I said it. How you really feel, Jordan? How you really feel, man? Well, you know, I just feel like they're overrated. I think we got your next matchup. Michael <laughs> shit. Oh, me, me versus Led Zeppelin? Yes. All of them. The entire band. <laughs> if they're still alive. <laughs> No, nah, man, Michael Ship is a great warrior, man. He is, like I said, gritty as all hell. He'll come out and he'll get right in your face. He'll put your back to the cage. He'll put your butt to the mat. He'll do whatever it takes to get on top and smother you and try to grind out a three-rounder. He'll try to finish you, uh, but he's definitely got his hands full. We know that. He just he reminds me of, like, a Clay Guida yes, slash yeah. Diego Sanchez, you know? Very yeah. Nothing awkward. pretty. Right. He I, just gets in there, and he's in your face, and he wins fights just based on just, his aggression. Just, and, and Kind of a, an awkward stand-up uh, movement and stuff, but, man, it works for he him. He gets it done. Absolutely. He gets it done. His opponent making his way down to the cage aggression octagon is Luke Rodriguez. Five foot eight, 155 pounds, fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, and Summit Training Center. Luke's gotta be one of, he's gotta be on the list for one of the guys that's fought the most for cage aggression, man. Because yeah, he has been in this cage a lot of times. <laughs> Many a years. Many a year. Yeah, one of those fighters that we were talking about before, just watching the evolution of, you know, of him going from amateur and to now into the professional ranks, getting into a little bit of adversity the last few fights that he's had. But um, what are, what do you guys think we're going to see tonight? Uh, I'd like to see him bounce back and get a big win here tonight, but uh, that's not always the case. He's got a tough opponent with Michael Ship. Uh, Ship's going to do his best to prevent that from happening. And uh, uh, Luke is just a—he's a flashy kid, man. He's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of talent. He's lost a couple close fights, uh, and. His record definitely doesn't define him as a fighter. No, not at all. Um, just because you have losses does not mean you're trash, does not mean you're garbage. I still think he has a lot of life left in him in this cage and any other cage and a lot of potential still too. So uh, we'll see what kind of Luke Rodriguez shows up tonight to handle this business. And a big thing about Luke too is, you know, as an amateur, he's been a lot of places. 
you know, there's there's a lot of amateurs that get, have a lot of experience, but it's like hometown experience. You know, they've fought in the Quad Cities 15 times. Well, that's cool, but Luke's been to Chicago, to Des Moines, to Waterloo, to all these places to fight outside of his hometown, and that's experience that a lot of amateur fighters going pro haven't done or don't do. That's uh, right up the henchman's alley, boys, because, <laughs> like, I only fought, I think, in my hometown, like, two times. And I want to go to your Our town next bout of the home. evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the cage aggression lightweight division, powered by Rilco. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands at even six feet tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. He trains at Third Heaven Martial Arts and is sponsored by Frowley Rentals, Fur Valley Motors, Hearth Roofing and Construction, Mr. Dean, the man upstairs, Bucky's Hangout, Luscious Painting and Remodeling, Sisler's Ice, Say Uncle Photography, and Jam Screens Printing and Embroidery. Joining us from Mayville, Wisconsin, Michael Battle Shim! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. He trains at Summit Training Center and is sponsored by Steester Flooring, Night Night Kennels, and Your Party Bus. Joining us from Davenport, Iowa, Lou Rodriguez! Mike Battleship in the red corner, Lou Rodriguez in the blue corner. Your referee for tonight's action is the boss, Bruce Allen, Jeremy J.D. Dorsey here on commentary along with Zach Micklewright and the henchman Jordan Hinman. Let's watch some fights. Ooh, and a big overhand right away. Oh, and a nice check hook there. A couple times there. coming in. And just as we had said, there's Michael Ship right in there pushing Luke's back to the cage, trying to get him to the ground. Already grinding it out, but Luke landed two great shots before that. And that's what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to work really hard to create some separation and uh, so he can land some strikes because it can't be done from this position. Not a whole lot going on in this position. Um, no, not to stay too busy. What I'd like to see is Ship get on, get that underhook on his right side. He's got the underhook on his right side, but he needs to get his head on the right side as well. And he doesn't have it jacked up too much. Luke's kind of controlling his arm with the overhook of his. Good space and separation by Luke. Needs to calm down a little bit. He shortens up some overhand. Nice body down. shot right down the middle. Ooh, oh, nice side, side kick. kick. That's the Luke Rodriguez we're used to seeing. Good one, Good two lands. He's landing well. He's got to keep this up, though. Gonna have to get his button back away from that cage for ship. Rushes in and tries to drive him up against there again. Nice and spinning back yeah, kick lands. Nice. Ooh, oh, Chip tries one of the Chip tries, yeah. That's Good the timing by Luke. Luke. Yeah, that's one thing I hate to see, you know, that this monkey see, monkey do mentality uh, from, from young fighters. You know, somebody gets a somebody gets a new eye flash. Yeah, yeah, you know, a nice inside leg kick. Okay, well I'm gonna throw a nice inside leg kick to you. And that's exactly what happened and, and Luke capitalized on it. Easy. Yeah, Luke's gonna have to try to get uh, some double underhooks from the back to keep position. Ship's trying to. He's got his oh, double underhooks here, here and he's going right away. He could, needs to pop those hips. Yep, creating, he needs to do a little damage, pepper him a little bit so that he can get him get him scrambling and then he can get that rear naked. He's looking for a core from the back. That would be awesome to see. I know that. Luke Rodriguez in a great position here. First round against Michael Ship. But Ship's looking like if he slides that left arm through the hip, he can he can end up in a better position. It just it, you know when he goes there, Luke needs to recognize that and keep circling. Now he's getting yeah. that hook here. He's getting that second hook on his right side, and it looks like he's got it. This is a good position for Luke. He shouldn't have given that up. 
trying to do some damage by heel strikes to the thigh. Nice little neck crank he's working. You know, he's just crushing the face of Shift this. right now. That's not going to finish him, but I bet you it does not feel good. Yeah, and, and it makes it real uncomfortable. Makes uh, it Luke better start scooting his hip and readjust, or he's going to get put on his back. Good job. He's got that seatbelt on, on Ship's right side, and that's a good position to be in. That's what's kind of saving him at, at, at this point. I like to see Luke let that left elbow come right to the to the backside ear and temple area of Michael Shea. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Like you read your mind. It happens all the time. I just weird. <laughs> I just, now, now he needs to get that other hook. He needs to get that hook on the right side. He should be able to get it. Scoot needs a scoot. Scoot yep, a little he needs to readjust. Right. Good job. Every time we say he needs to do something, man, He's it is. It. It's like he just knows. Great job by Luke Rodriguez. Yeah. And he winds up on top, and this is a good position. You know, one minute left here in the first round, and, and this is all Luke so far. And and he can't get too confident going. If it makes it to the second round, he cannot be too confident going into the second round because as we, mentioned, we, yeah, as we mentioned before, fellas, I mean, this is a tough a, a tough opponent in Michael Shipp, and uh, he's not going to be too discouraged because his game plan is to grind, and I bet you he is here just for that. Looks like Luke, Luke lost his mouth guard. But, you Ooh, know, way to step over. Going. That was awesome. Possible arm bar, yep. He's going to roll for it. Nice. Ooh. That is beautiful. I think the, the cage saved ship there. Possibly. Ten seconds left. Not a bad time to go for that. There's a short time in the round. He's not going to lose the round yeah. based oh, off no. that alone. And he had an opportunity to finish the fight. Great, yeah, absolutely. great time a awareness. Great round for Luke. Absolutely. And hopefully that, that ending, you know, ending on his back that doesn't discourage him. That was a great round for Luke. Yeah, very interesting first round between these guys, man. Um, if you're ship, what do you do right now? You got, I mean, you definitely gotta, you definitely gotta try to impose your will as far as uh, your strengths. And we know that Michael Ship's strength is the grappling situation, and he did a good job of getting Luke up against the cage at the big opening of the first round. But uh, Luke got on his horse. He was able to create some space, land some big shots, and he was able to stay away from Michael Ship the remainder of the or the remainder of the round. And he was actually able to get Ship to the ground off a, a flubbed uh, spinning back kick. So uh, a lot, what a lot of people don't realize is that is that Rodriguez, he can grapple. He used to wrestle. He's no slouch uh, when it comes to uh, physicalness and stuff like that. And you've seen that in the first round. He was really hard shots and did a great job of controlling Michael Ship. I bet this fight's really going to start to pick up in this in this oh, second sure. round. Like, sure. That was a pretty good first round. I mean, I think Ship needs to start out doing exactly what he did in the first round, you know, just just pressure him, get him up against the cage, and, you know, maybe nice. work for a takedown and end up on top. But Luke is on his wheels here. He's yep. circling really well. He's keeping from getting his back up against the cage, and he's landing shots. Now, he is circling uh, towards oh, the power side. Way to get under. He is circling. Oh, I'd like to see uh, Kelly right here. If he just sits out and, and bumps his hips, he can. He could have took the back of Michael Ship. Way to wind up on top here. And he's just gotta he just gotta pull his head out yep. and he can end up in the half guard here. He's gonna keep circling around. Hey, I don't know what ship's going for, but it wasn't an arm bar. Luke's winding up on top here. He's got a little bit of a head and arm here from the half guard, but not not gonna do much but get a good position here. Yeah. And land some good shots. I'd like to see some knees to the body oh, yeah. right here. Or you know, oh, even look to at the that. Thighs. He starts That's kneeing strange. to the body. Weird. And pulls him down. Good job by Luke. He goes for a little headlock from behind, but you know, that's, that's kind uh, of that's rule, move. That's rule one in wrestling. Don't reach do for it. the head. You never reach back in wrestling. He needs a straw. And that, he needs to get back up. That was yeah. a bad move for Luke. Yeah, he needs to push the head down and scoot up the cage. He needs a cage hooks. walk and try to stand up from here. He needs to get under hooks and then walk the cage and get right back up. That's where he has his, his success is on the feet. And there he goes. Gets up on top and a sweep. Great job. Nice. 
Ooh, Ooh. nice leap attempt by Michael Ship, and Rodriguez does a good job of countering and tries to slide in for a guillotine. He needs a turn down. He needs a turn to his right side. He needs to get an underhook and pop, pop hips and walk back up. You know, he, he's been and working the sweep really well, and he needs to just do it all over again. And here's where the grittiness of Michael Ship comes oh, in. I don't like this loop right, right here. This is bad. 45 seconds here. Fight the loop. hands. He needs to fight the hands and not get finished here. Oh, he's flattened out. out. Both hooks in. Yeah, he's got he's got Ship's arm still trapped. As long as he can keep that trapped and try to get his and chin. He's got to fight the hands. Good job of rolling nice. to his back and avoiding that submission good there. Good job by Luke. Now he's stuck in the mound. This isn't a good position. Well, he's got no. Nope, he's, nope, he's got a little half, half guard. guard. Knee shield going on. Needs to kind of get get to a hip. There we go. I can keep bumping. Ooh, he's got a, he's nice got a nasty cut. Ooh. That is bad. That's not a fight Ooh. ending cut, but that is not looking good for Luke Rodriguez. And that's what we kind of touched on with like. Oh, the great sweep. He is so gritty that he. If he gets an opportunity, ooh, way to spin out of that arm bar, baby. Yeah, this is a great fight. Things are starting to pick up in the second round, just like I said. And this is an awesome turnout for a fight. Oh, and he has got a nasty cherry on his he's cheek. He's going to try that guillotine again. I don't like when he does that. Oh, he's got the back take, though, which is nice. He's working that crossbody. Except Michael Schiff can control this arm and drop him off just like that. He needed to get position. Scoop is over and... and it's in a weird position, but he keeps getting his back here. And it, well, because Ship's not moving his hips. Oh, a minute. We've got a minute 20 left here. Yeah, that's a long time to be under under a big, strong Michael Ship. And the crowd's starting to get behind Ship. They think that maybe you can finish Luke here. I love hearing the crowd. And though. Rodriguez, he's got well, his he's, foot up. He's circling the wrong side. He needs to, he needed to bump into him to get that underhook. Because this is putting him in a dangerous position here, and he might get that choke. He needs to fight the hands. And he's doing good so far. Man, I'm starting to get overwhelmed. There is so much going on right now. That 45 seconds just left not here. Enough time to explain what's happening. But we have a serious fight on our hands. A very uh, technical and gritty fight by both guys. And, he's, and Michael Ship switches palm to palm and he gets oh, the submission. Oh, oh, oh. And, and that's, that's the type of Michael Ship that we see. That's, that's what, what we had talked about, guys. That's what he does. You just never count this guy out, man. That's what he does. He is tough, man. Heck of a finish. Oh. Nothing to hang your head about if you're Luke. You came oh. in here and put on a great performance. A great fight. Look, Look at this replay right now. Look at that. Yep, man. that's a palm to palm under the chin. And yeah, that, that's what Battleship does. Yeah. Man. He, and that, he, I mean, he got his butt kicked in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> he lost yep. that first round and he turned yep. it around exactly what we said he could do. Yep. He was he's we knew he was capable of doing it and he and he executed perfectly. Yep. He did it. And I bet this one stings for Luke Rodriguez. He really uh, was looking forward to winning here tonight. And, he's, and he started off uh, with the perfect recipe, the perfect game plan. I think he probably petered out there, uh, got a little gassed, and uh, lost some, some, some positions that he should have been able to retain and uh, unfortunately got submitted. But I hope, Luke, if you're listening, man, bounce back. Uh, you got this, kiddo, man. You'll be great. Ship, good job, man. Tough as hell as always. Uh, Hats off, guys. Great fight. Yeah, great fight for both fighters, man. You can really see that tide turning as that second round progressed, and Ship just got more and more confidence well, and was able to take I advantage. mean, it was a good back and forth. Luke had position, Ship had position. Luke had position, Ship had position. And what would have been uh, the benefiting factor is uh, a better job with hip placement because Absolutely. the sweeps happen but then then there was no readjustment of the hips there was no uh closure taking the space away to really stay tight and in that position i think they both were pretty tired and the hips just got a little loose and lazy and uh you know it was a real back and forth situation there for a second but michael's battleship comes down and, ladies uh, and gentlemen your referee bruce allen has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds into round two, declaring your winner by submission due to rear naked choke, Michael Battle Ship. There you have it, Mike Battleship, your winner here at Cage Aggression 24, champion. All right, here we are with your winner, Michael Battleship. Mike, 
This was a matchup you were looking forward to, one that you were kind of looking forward to as far as testing yourself goes. Um, very, very tough fought victory. What's going through your mind now? Well, uh, I gotta say, I gotta honestly say, I got no disrespect for Luke. I've respected him for years. I've wanted this fight for four years since the first time I fought for Cage Aggression. First time I saw Luke fight and it just fell in my lap. I, I just want him to know I meant no disrespect on the podcast, which all started this just by me mentioning his name. But it's a fight I wanted and came out with the victory, and I'm thankful for that. Thank you, God. Now, take a look up at the screen. We've got the finish up here for you. Uh, why don't you walk us through what was going through your mind on that and let us know if there was anything about the particular fight that, uh, that surprised you. Well, I'll go through this. this like when we, he, Luke, I got to say, he's so much better on the ground than I thought he was going to be. Forget a lot of scrambles in there. That was a big test for me. Me, all I knew I, when I was working on the ground, I'm like, okay, I got to get in a down position. I got to stay heavy. I got to work. I was worried about that choking at the end. And my arms were already getting a little tired and shit. I was only halfway through the second round, so. But thankful I got that, sunk that in. And he was fighting them hard, too. too. So much respect for Luke, but got that choke in and just did what I'm good at. Well, Mike, I gotta say, it's, it's definitely been a pleasure watching you grow as a professional. I know I'm not alone when I say we're looking forward to the next trip inside the camera cage. Why don't you leave us with a few thoughts before we let you get to your celebration? Well, as far as my next trip goes, my, Mike, if you got a spot for me, Catfish Ben, please and thank you. I'm ready for, ready for that again. Um, other than that, I got to thank, it's a lot of people got to thank. All my corners, all the guys I train with, Sam, Sam down at the Combat Doe, my best friend Adrian, one of my best friends, Adrian, my head coach, John DeGree with Third Heaven, everyone who came down from Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, to come support me. I want to give a shout out to all my sponsors right now. Uh, from Mike Frawley, Frawley Reynolds and River Valley Motors. My sister and her new husband, Bobby Hearth and her new husband, John Hearth, with Hearth Roofing Construction. Jam screening and print, printing down in Peoria. New t-shirts made for you. Thank you, AJ and Megan Marsh. Uh, who, who else I got? Uh, give me one second here. A lot of things going through my head. This man uh, right here. So, sorry, Steve. For the new design, thank you, Steve Burroughs, and the guys down at Say Uncle Photography. Oh, yeah, my boy Mike Lush, through Lush's painting and remodeling, and Bucky's Hangout Bar, Morton. Thank you, just thank you, everyone, for all the support. Ladies and gentlemen, a man that knows exactly what he wants, one more time, your winner, Michael Battleship.